Okay, so some of you have been sending me messages about the plugin for the PlayStation 1 emulator. Well, I showed you in the other videos that I had, so. And sorry that I haven't been posting any videos because I haven't um, downgrading my PSP and making. using emulators and downloading games, playing PlayStation 1 games on it. Well, so let's just start to get the plugins first okay so open up your internet explorer whatever you have go to google.com then put in e e p e like in emulanium and p as in Pedro and S as in Sandy and X as in um, xylophone and E as Eric and then put plugins and then it should be the first one it should say N G E M U dash E P S X E plugins that's the PlayStation One plugin so just get it go to that site it should pop up like this with with the plugins at the bottom all you need is the video plugin and then after I get the video plugin I, I will show you how to get the bios so when you get to this website it should look like this choose the third plugin it should say Pete pl GPU plugins just choose that one and click download the plugin on the side of it save it okay and after that now go to google again google.com okay now when you're at google when you're at google put in the same thing e P S X E put, put BIOS after that. Don't put plug in BIOS. And then look for one. Choose the first one. It says E P S X E BIOS. And then it's gonna give you like a form, but just choose the one. And the first the first post that at the top it's just like click here to download and download that they should have the plugin in the BIOS. Okay, now if you're a beginner and you don't know where to get the PlayStation 1 emulator, well just use Google again. And put PSX um PSX emulator. Then go to the sec the third one, let's just say the emulator zone EPSXE. And then just click on it. Then just download EPSXE 1.60. And then you know save it to my documents, extract it. Okay. Now go to my documents. I should get everything in she got everything. You you got everything from right here, this video right here. So you got the BIOS, the PlayStation 1 emulator, and the plugin. So just extract everything. And the plugin, drag it inside the PlayStation 1 emulator folder. And and the BIOS too. Well the only the only plugin the only BIOS that you need because when you enter the BIOS folder it gives you um nine bins or BIOSes. Just look for one that says SCPH one O one one thousand and one. Just get that. And copy. Then put it in your PlayStation one um folder. Right there. Okay now take your um plugins and just you know copy, drag it into your PSX PSX folder again. And put it in the plugin folder. Inside the PlayStation One. 
Okay, there we go. Okay, now open it. And then confirm. So, this doesn't work, so just kick skip. And then go to video. Get your plugins. Go, it doesn't matter which one. Just use the last one. Pete's OpenGL Driver 1.76. Then click OK. Now click config again at the top. Go to BIOS. Yeah, yeah, the BIOS right there should be inside the PESX folder so just look for it there it is okay now click OK you have everything going so let's just back it up a little you download the plugins right and put it in the plugin folder of the PSX folder right here and then you take the BIOS and take the BIOS SCPH1001 out of all the BIOSes that you downloaded before and then put it inside the PlayStation 1 emulator and if you just started I already showed you how to download the PlayStation 1 emulator and then you go okay now I already showed you how to config video remember config open it up config at the top choose your video plugin doesn't matter to me just just use the one that I'm using right now Pete's open GL driver 1.76 and then go to BIOS find where you put your BIOS inside the PSX folder so it should be there click on it click OK there you go okay so then when you want to run something click run ISO look for where you put the game um, I'm gonna run run na, 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 na. run I wanna run yeah I got so much games oh well, well I was trying to put PSX1 games on my PSP which I did but now it doesn't want to work for some reason Okay, so I'm gonna play Crash Bandicoot. See if it works. Yep, exactly. There you go. So that's it. Any more information? Just send me a message. I'll get back to you. Oh, and if you want to make it smaller, just go to open it up again go to config go to video click configure and then it shows you it shows you resolution and colors just put window mode because unless you want to play full screen it doesn't matter to me and there you go I'm gonna put window mode nice click nice for it would run perfectly and then click OK then run it again check if it's alright it's alright see it's going it's perfect. Well, okay. So um, that's how you do it. So on the mem cards, it should just if you save the file in there, just delete it from right there. Every time you save something, it should be on the mem cards. So, and to download the game, I'll put the site on my um. I'll put the site on on next to my description. So, okay. So peace. I'll make a Dreamcast emulator today. I'll make a how to get the Dreamcast one today. So, forward.